Shalom and blessings, warriors of Yahuwah and the truth, truth seekers, seekers of the lost books. If you've been looking, look no further. You have found the apocryphal books. We are on Sefer, the Millennium Edition. On the other channel, I did a poll and you guys voted for the next book for me to read to be Tobit. So we are continuing on with Tobit. Um, I'm going to try to get through um, two chapters today. Um, and then I'm going to hop out back on my original channel so I can do the other books. Um, I have to do this because um, it's, I just feel, I feel bullied. I feel like I'm in a high school again or junior high or elementary school. Like I was bullied in school and I feel bullied by people in my Nazarene community and we're supposed to be a unit. We're supposed to be the body of Mashiach. We're not supposed to be divided. The only people that are supposed to, we're supposed to be divided from are the wicked, not the innocent, not the ones who love Yahuwah and spread his message and spread the truth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to continue on with Tobit. We are on verse 2. If you want to see verse 1, it's still up on my, my original channel. Okay, so verse 2 in Tobiahu or Tobit. Now, when I was come home again, and my woman, Chana, was restored unto me with my son, Tobiahu, in the Feast of Shavuot, and it says at the bottom, Pentecost, or Feast of Weeks, um, which is the Kodesh Feast of the Seven Weeks, there was a good dinner prepared me, in the which I sat down to eat. And when I was, and when I saw abundance of meat, I said to my son, go and bring what poor man soever you find, you shall find out of our brethren, who is mindful of Yahuwah, and lo, I tarry for you. But he came again and said, Father, one of our nation is strangled and is cast out in the marketplace. Then before I had tasted any of, of, of any meat, I started, up, I started up and took him up into a room until the going down of the sun. Then I returned and washed myself and ate my meat in heaviness. Remembering that, prophe that prophecy of Amok, as he said, Your feast shall be turned into mourning and all your mirth into lamentation. Therefore I wept and after the going down of the sun I went and made a grave and buried him. But my neighbors mocked me and said, This man is not yet afraid to be put to death. For this matter who fled away and yet lo he buries the dead again so the same night or lila also i returned from the burial and slept by the wall of my courtyard being polluted and my face was uncovered and i knew knew not that there was were that there were sparrows on the wall in the wall and my eyes being opened the sparrows muted warm dung into my eyes and a whiteness came into my eyes and i went to the physicians but they helped me not Moreover, Achiarchus did nourish me until I went into Elimais, and my woman, Chana, did take women's work to do. And when she had sent them home to do the owners, to the owners, they paid her wages and gave her also besides a kid. And when it was in my house and began to cry, I said unto her, From whence is this kid? Is it not stolen? Render it to, to the owners, for it is against the Torah to eat anything that is stolen. But she replied upon me, it was given for a gift more than the wages. How be it, I, I did not believe her, but bade her render it to the owners, and I was abashed at her. But she replied upon me, where, where are your alms and your righteous deeds? Behold, you and all your works are known. 3. Then I, I, being grieved, did weep in my sorrow, prayed, saying, O Yahuwah, you are just, and all your works and all your ways are mercy and truth, and you judge tr truly and justly forever. Remember me and look on me. Punish me not for my sins and ignorance and the sins of my fathers, who have sinned before you, for they obeyed not your commandments. Wherefore you have delivered us for a spoil and unto captivity, and unto death, and for a proverb of reproach, and to all the nations among whom we are dispersed. And now your judgments are many and true. Deal with me according to my sins and my fathers, because we have not kept your commandments. 
neither have we walked in the in truth before you. Now, therefore, deal with me as seems best unto you, and command my ruach to be taken from me, that I may may be dissolved and become earth. For it is profitable for me to die rather than to live, because I have heard false reproaches and have much sorrow. Command, therefore, that I may now be delivered out of this distress and go into the everlasting place. Turn not your face away from me. I came. It came to pass the same day that in Ak Akbatane, a city of Madai, Sarah, the daughter of Reuel, was also reproached by her father's maids because that she had been married to seven men whom Asmodeus, the, the evil Ruach, had killed before they had lain with her. Do, no, do you not know, said they, that you have strangled your men? You have already seven men, neither were you named after any of them. Wherefore do you beat us for them? If they, are, they be dead, go your ways after them. Let us never see of you either son or daughter. When she heard these things, she was very sorrowful, so that she thought to have strangled herself. And she said, I am the only daughter of my father, and if I do this, it shall be a reproach unto him. And I shall bring his old age with sorrow unto the grave. Then she prayed toward the window and said, Blessed are you, O Yahuwah Elohai, and your Kodesh and glorious name is blessed and honorable forever. Let all your works praise you forever. And now, O Yahuwah, I set, I, I set my eyes and my face toward you and say, Take me out of the earth that I may hear no more, more, no more the reproach. You know, Adonai, that I am pure from all the sin with man and that I never polluted my name nor the name of my father in the land of my captivity. I am the only daughter of my father, neither has he any child to be his heir, neither any near kinsman, nor any son of his alive, to whom I may keep myself for a woman. My seven men are already dead, and why should I live? But if it pleases, but if it, it please not you that I should die, command some regard to be had of me, and pity taken of me, that I hear no more reproach. So the prayers of them both were heard before the majesty of the great Allahim, and Raphael was sent to heal them both, that is, to scale away the whiteness of Tobiah, whose eyes, and to give Sarah, the daughter of Reuel, for a woman to Tobiah, the son of Tobiah, and to bind Asmodeus, the evil Ruach, because she belonged to Tobiah by right of inheritance." The self same time came Tobiahu home and entered into his house, and Sarah, the daughter of Reuel, came down from her upper chamber. Next time we will be reading chapter 4. Chapter 4 is a bit long, so um, that'll be one video. I love you all, and it's time to praise Yahuwah. Torah Abba Yahuwah, Tora Rabba, Abba Yahuwah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'll sing a little piece of Miss Wonderer. They call me Miss Wonderer. I wonder how beautiful is the Shamai. In all, all of its splendor, the beauty of the Garden of Eden, the vastness of paradise. I come to you in the secret place, 
Oh, Yahuwah, I dwell with you in the secret place. I come to you in the secret place. Praise Yahuwah, praise Yahusha. As you walk through the gate, as you walk by the way, keeping my mind stayed on thee. Glorify his Kodesh name. Kodesh, Kodesh, Kodesh. The angels praise unceasingly. Yom and Lila, guard me all, for I have found my refuge within you. I praise you, oh Yahuwah. I sing praises to your name, Most High. Let those who love your name exalt in you. You make my enemies turn back. Hallelujah. You have rebuked the nations, hallelujah, and you destroyed the wrong, hallelujah, all esteem unto I love you all with an everlasting love, as our Abba Yahuwah loves each and every one of us. Shalom and blessings, warriors of Yahuwah and the truth, truth seekers that are interested in learning the lost books, the apocryphal books. Shalom and blessings.